Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman television. First, the headlines. A workshop in Muscat on TIR system discusses benefits and advantages to facilitate international trade and transit of goods. Scholarship Committee for Higher Studies level approves to send 40 male and female candidates from governmental units. The main committee of Al Ajal College discusses consultancy firms' offers to design the college. And a number of filling stations and companies marketing fuel are caught selling fuel at higher prices from that announced. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qabus has sent a cable of greetings to His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bulkir of Brunei, Jerusalem on his country's National Day. His Majesty the Sultan has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President David Arthur Granter of Guyana on his country's National Day. And His Majesty received a cable of thanks from His Excellency President Bujar Nishani of Albania in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his country's National Day. A workshop on transport internox routers of also known as TIR system, facilitation of trade and transit, was held at Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Muscat. It was organized by the International Road Transit Union in collaboration with Oman Logistics Center. It came to discuss the International TIR Convention and its benefits and advantages to facilitate international trade and development and operation of transport and transit sector in the Sultanate. The facilitation is a priority for the development of the national economy and activating the trade exchange to create new jobs. It also develops road transport and facilitates the transit of goods, which is one of the priorities of the logistic vision of the Ministry of Transport and Communications. The workshop was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed al Futaisi, Minister of Transport and Communications. Scholarships Committee for the postgraduate level of the employees at the governmental units that apply the civil service law and its executive regulations approved to send 40 male and female candidates to get master and PhD degrees as per the standards and criteria shown in the scholarships, grants and the study subsidy law its executive regulations. The meeting discussed a number of issues related to scholarships, affairs for postgraduate level the offered study programs and the needs of ministries and governmental units to qualify the employees to meet needs of work. His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Omar al Mirhoun, Minister of Civil Service, chaired the meeting. The main committee of Al Ajil College held its 16th meeting to review the design submitted by the consultancy firms bidding for Al Ajil College project. Ten consultancy firms were contacted by the Royal Installations at the Royal Court Affairs, which supervises the design of the college. It also discusses the bids by the five shortlisted companies and took necessary decision towards them. It also reviewed the presentations given by five companies, as three companies excused and two failed to meet the terms and the tender. The meeting was chaired by Her Excellency, Sheikha Aisha bin Khalfan, as Siabia, chairperson of the Public Authority for Craft Industries and head of the committee. The Shura Council Office viewed during its periodical meeting a request by a number of members of question His Excellency the Minister of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources regarding health requirements and procedures pertaining to foodstuff activities and harms on owners of a small and medium enterprises and negative effects on local commercial activities in the governors. 
The office also discussed requests of clarifications by some members forwarded to some governmental bodies such as the delay of implementing Hasek Port construction project for receiving speed ferries and possibility of amending tax percentage of the profits on Oman liquefied gas company. The office forwarded a proposal of creating a system to sell special numbers and to put them in an auction, a proposal to specialized bodies to study and create a governmental unit specialized in measuring on time implementation and performance quality at government units. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal Al Ma'awali, Chairman of the Shura Council. Public Authority for Consumer Protection caught a number of filling stations and companies marketing fuel, selling fuel at higher prices from the announced. The authority said the judicial arrest controllers during cell fills visit were able to catch a number of filling stations that did not change to the new price of the fuel. Some of them were refrained from supplying consumers with fuel for a period of more than eight hours. Public Authority for Consumer Protection decided to refer the violators to general prosecution to take legal measures towards them, calling on suppliers of this necessity to abide by instructions and not to manipulate prices. Still to come in our news bulletin. The 21st of coming March is set to be the registration date for elections of Entrepreneurs Club in the Governorate of Muscat. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Development witnessed by the region, Omani-American relations and their effect in these developments were the focus of a meeting of His Excellency Abdelaziz bin Mohammed al rawas advisor to His Majesty the Sultan for Cultural Affairs, when he received a delegation of the National Council for Arab-American Relations of Washington, led by Dr. John Duke Anthony, who are currently on a visit to the Sultanate with a group of concerned of the Middle East region. A number of matters tabled on the agenda and related works and roles shouldered by the Public Authority for Civil Defense and Ambulance were the focus of a meeting of the Board of Directors of the Authority. The meeting, which was held at the Police General Command in Qurram, was presided over by His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Mohsen al shariqi Inspector General of Police and Customs, and Chairperson of the Board of Directors of the Public Authority for Civil Defense and Ambulance. The 21st of coming March is set to be the registration date for elections of Entrepreneurs Club in the Governorate of Muscat in an endeavor to strengthen communication among entrepreneurs and the authorities concerned. Similar clubs will be opened in the Governorate of Adhafar and North Albatna. That was revealed at the press conference held in Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The club aims to upgrade the communication means between the two parties and contributes in spreading awareness of entrepreneurship culture. Nine members of Omani Entrepreneurs will represent the board of directors after the election on condition they are available full time and registered at the public establishment for small and medium enterprises development and is an affiliate to OCCI and owns a small or medium enterprise. 
Omani foreign politics and the importance of enabling youth and women in political life top discussion of first political forum which organized by the College of Economy and Political Sciences in Sultan Qaboos University. The, the forum focused on concepts and international relations with neighboring countries and the world that enabled the Sultanate to play a major role in resolving a number of regional and international cases. The forum also shared the light on the Omani foreign politics which are distinguished by neutrali neutrality in non-interference at others' affairs and to keep away from conflicts. Glances and Oman Modern March exhibition continues for the third consecutive week at the Ax Majlis Oman Hall in the Governorate of Muscat. It also decided to extend the exhibition till March 9th due to the increasing turnout from various segments of the society and visitors to the Sultanate. The exhibition included more than 700 gorgeous portraits of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos documenting stations of the prosperous march of His Majesty, as well as the events attended by His Majesty at the local, regional and international levels. The exhibition is a photographed history and a witness of the continuous blessed Renaissance march. Insurance sector indicators revealed that vehicle insurance share exceeded 40% of the total insurance premiums. The insurance sector in the Sultan witnessed an annual growth and average of which reaches 14.8% while the gross premiums is approaching half billion Omani rials. This, this sector is also witnessing legislative and regulatory developments to keep in pace with international standards and practices. Capital Market Authority has approved the unified insurance policy for vehicles which included amendments on terms regulating vehicles insurance in the Sultanate. The amendments aim to regulate the relationship between between the insurance policy holder and the insurance company and to add some advantages seeking to be in line with the progress taking place in the global insurance market. These amendments came as a result of observations made on the policy issued in 2008. The exploration continues at the Salute archaeological site in the Wilaya of Bahla to discover the historical importance of the area in the Omani heritage. The excavation works are conducted by the French team from Sarbonne University and the discoveries made near Salute Castle date back to the 3rd century before Christ. The works in the area are supervised by the Ministry of Culture and Heritage and around 50% of the explorations is complete. Among the discoveries was an old stone tower that included small rooms in addition to other bronze items and pottery. The Ministry of Transport and Communications in cooperation with the Ministry of Health organized in the Wilaya of Sahar a national workshop for medical examination and issuing certificates of medical fitness for sailors. The workshop focused on the Sultanate efforts in preparing unified operation procedures, guide for medical witness examination for seafarers and issuing certificates according to standards of International Maritime Organization and International Labor Organization. Establishing of a small and medium-sized and projects, economic feasibility study and turn out the ideas into successful projects topped elements of the workshop organized by the Far University in cooperation with Arab Institute for Planning of Kuwait and Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Governorate of the Far Branch. The workshop aims to train 150 male and female students from the Far University and a number of participants from outside the university as well as to urge youth to work in the private sector. It came as a continuation of events to enhance small and medium projects activities and to change ideas into practical projects. 
The Directorate General of Health Services in the Governorate of the FAR celebrated today the graduation of 32 male and female students from Salalar Nursing Institute. The graduation ceremony of the 21st batch included a number of visual presentations on the institute and its facilities in addition to a number of national poems. At the end of the ceremony, the chief guest honored those excelled and handed over their certificates to the graduates. Now for the general weather forecast, clear skies will prevail over the Sultanate with slight increase in temperature and ch chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning in the governments of Worcester and South Sharkia and scattered rainfall in the far. Winds will be north as the light to moderate on the areas overlooking Sea of Oman along the rest of the governorates. It will be south as the light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of one meter. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. A workshop in Muscat on TIR system discusses benefits and advantages to facilitate international trade and transit of goods. Scholarship Committee for Higher Studies level approves to send 40 male and female candidates from governmental units. The main committee of Al Ajal College discusses consultancy firms' offers to design the college. And a number of filling stations and companies marketing fuel are caught selling fuel at higher prices from that announced. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studios and the newsroom, it's good night.